When we were planning our return to Vietnam, people asked, why are you going back to a place you've been to to do the same thing again? The answer is simple. Travel is ever evolving. The epic reputation of the Ha Giang Loop, which is located in Vietnam's northernmost province and traces around the Chinese border, has only recently caught the attention of the entire world. While Saigon to Hanoi is one hell of a ride, you can make every argument that the Ha Giang Loop is mile for mile the most stunning stretch of roads in all of Vietnam. Roads are more remote, the landscapes more dramatic, and the sense of adventure absolutely redlined. Welcome to the ride of a lifetime. morning of motorbike day. Bittersweet because we are in absolutely the most beautiful resort I think I've ever been in and if you haven't seen that video that's what uh, we just filmed here and now we're leaving to go to the Ha Giang Loop. If I learned anything three years ago in two months from Saigon to Hanoi on a motorbike it's to expect the unexpected so I have no idea what today entails. To begin this trip we first need to get to Ha Giang. We're in the Sapa area so we need to go through Lao Cai, through Bac Ha, that's where we're sleeping tonight, and then a big day tomorrow to get up to Ha Giang. Let's get on the road, leaving paradise for adventure. Tim's idea, never mind. <laughs> A minute after leaving the resort, we've already pulled over three times to check the directions. A few things have become clear. Finny likes riding around with her right blinker on. Finny, you're doing great. You're just back on a bike. And also, if you're going to be on a bike, this GoPro mount, that's a terrible idea. All it does is shake. That's my fault though. Driving out of Sapa right now, this is easily one of the most beautiful hours of roads that we've had, even considering last trip. There's twisties, it's hills, it's mountains. Unfortunately, it's so hot today, it's really hard to pull over and film, but <laughs> goddamn, is it gorgeous. Oh my God. bar in town and we have shown pictures of coca-cola on our phone shown pictures of sprite there's a coca-cola machine right over there that's full of lettuce i don't think they have any of it and then finally the reason we stopped is because tim has to go to the bathroom so we finally just showed a picture of a toilet and that worked <laughs> so they do have that here and we're making new friends where come you from america Another warm reception. 
And it stinks because unlike Spanish, we can't hop into a conversation. It's always tough. Well, here's the sign. This obviously does not mean restaurant. This is probably like someone's wedding or... <laughs> Party <laughs> spot. <laughs> that was the friendliest bar in the entire world. So frustrating to not be able to speak to everybody so easily. Somebody came over and apologized for everybody drinking so much, but I mean, hey, it's Saturday. Everybody's partying all around the world. No reason to be sorry. How was that first day? One of the most beautiful drives that we've had. On one of the hottest days. On one ever. of the hottest days we've ever had. I think that's the only time we've ever had sun in Vietnam on a motorbike. But it's also one of the only days I've ever had protection on a motorbike. And I'm just in all black. Just... Just melting. And just melting. All I've done is sweat here in Vietnam and somehow I don't think I'm losing any weight because everything that we eat is like all you can eat, so I'm indulging. Holy shit. Oh my god, that feels so good. This is exciting because I never quite know where I'm staying. Finny does all the booking, obviously. And we ended up with a room with a view. It's these nice little perks like the lake view that I think cost maybe four dollars extra on the room that we couldn't really afford on our last trip but now with our online business we can just really live a life in luxury. The lake view was $34 a night here but I think that you could get a cheaper room here maybe around 27 or so ballpark but that's about it. We're starving let's go eat something. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how you have enough energy to film right now. Because I just have to hit one button. Oh my god. It's like so brain dead. <laughs> it took a long time, but you know what? It's, it's just it's good. This is so reminding me of the whole last trip. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Allison needs a post late lunch, early dinner nap. I mean, it was so hot today. That took a lot out of us. So I'm gonna go see how much gas we burned through. It's way easier to fill these things up when our bags are off of them rather than pull up to the gas station, pull the bags off, put them back on. It always makes a scene. So I went over just over two liters of gas in that entire trip, and I'm sure Finney will put a map here. I mean, these things get such awesome fuel economy uh, that barely costs over $2 in fuel for everything. So that's what my bike got. Now I can't wait. I have to go fill up Finney's bike to see how she did on gas. That's weird. First thing I'm noticing is that I had over half a tank. Vinny managed to go through a whole tank. Granted, my bike's a little bit bigger. The mystery will be solved at the gas station, I'm sure. Okay, Vinny was just over two liters too, which means at least we're getting the same gas mileage, which is nice. I just have that much bigger of a tank on my big old Adventure Rider Winter 150. That's just unbelievable how far we both rode on two liters each. It's so, so awesome. I love these bikes and I'm loving Finney's. She's got the semi-automatic uh, Honda Blade. It makes filming so much easier because it works pretty much like a scooter. Only if you want to shift, you can. Look, second and a third. I still got the GoPro up. Just hit it, push down, no clutch. It's cheating a little bit, but I love it. Looked out and got to Baca on the perfect day because there's a market tonight. We're setting out here tonight with three goals in mind. Three? Food, yeah, food for tonight. Yes. Food for tomorrow during yes. the and socks. 
Oh, and socks. I'm gonna try to find socks for a size 12 foot here. Because <laughs> my stupid Target socks are too tight. <laughs> oh shit, turn around. As you're finishing your... We're gonna need a little bit more to eat. This restaurant says fast food on it, and just the fact that it has English on it. Hopefully they have English on the menus. That, that was the entire decision-making process <laughs> to go into here. Go. Order potatoes, shape, spicy, no. Spicy shake, spicy. <laughs> Potatoes shake, spicy nub. It looks pretty good. They look just like a picture. The lightning is terrible, but they look like a picture. We ate and we found treats for tomorrow, which is all we needed to do, really. What Except find socks. Oh, socks. I'm like, there's a third goal. But now the third goal, we're replacing the goal of socks for the goal of sleeping. We need to go right now. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Bye. Bye.